Let's take a quick look at the final Vikings Bears injury report. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepiga Show. I'm One Bar Vikings Bears coming up in two days, the battle of the one and four squad. So injury-wise, big, big, big game. Maybe not so much for who's going to win the North, but just maybe for some confidence, maybe just to feel good Sunday afternoon, Monday morning, because the loser of this game, ouch. Uh, speaking of ouch, let's look at some injuries. Before I do that, hit that sub button. Let's get to 10,000 subs. Remember, hashtag... 10,000 or 10K in the comments for a chance to take one of these bad boys home when we uh, reach 10K, which we're only like 105 away. So hit that sub. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. Let's start with the, let's start with the good guys. Let's start with the Vikings. So Vikings looking damn good. Looking damn good. Jordan Addison full practice, which is an absolute must. Um, Justin Jefferson out. So Addison's going to have himself a day. Marcus Davenport, good to see him getting in full practice. Two sacks. In the last two weeks, let's go for number three. Caleb Evans out there. Lewis Seen. Lewis Seen. He's back, baby. He's back. Uh, will he play? Probably not. But he is back, and he will once again be like our sixth safety. Kanine Wangwu uh, is is practicing. Kevin, They got him listed as questionable. Kevin O'Connell even said uh, he's most likely not going to play, which means he's not going to play. But next week... Maybe we get to see the return of the man and see him back there returning some kicks. So Vikings-wise... Aside from the obvious with Justin Jefferson, Gonzo, uh, we're looking pretty damn good. Bears, Bears got a pretty lengthy, lengthy list here. So as far as the guys who are out, the big names are the running backs. So their top three backs, Herbert Johnson and Homer, are all already ruled out, which means it will be the Dante Foreman show. And Dante Foreman, it's not like he's 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 a bad running back. So uh, I'd love to say, oh, this, this is great. We're going against their fourth string running back. He's pretty good. He'll get his. Uh, and our run defense has been, we will see. But we'll take anything we get. So Dante Foreman will be the back. Um, other guys ruled out. Terrell Smith, the former Minnesota Gopher in their secondary, their cornerback, is ruled out. Uh, I will take that any day of the week. Uh, the bad news for Vikings fans is they're getting their secondary back. Kyler Gordon practiced in full. He will be back. Jalen Johnson practiced in full. He will be back. And their safety, Eddie Jackson, is currently questionable. He said, we're going to leave it up to the coaching staff. He feels like he's ready to go. So a Bears secondary that has been just absolutely decimated by injuries is all coming together, and they will be back, which they will need. They will need because the Bears right now are ranked almost dead last in passing yards given up in a game. And Kirk Cousins, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson, if you catch the ball, they're going to put up some yards in the air, baby. Uh, other guys that are out, St. Brown, their wide receiver, ruled out. Um, they got DJ Moore. They got Darnell Mooney. Yippee. St. Brown, gone. I mean, looking at the guys that are stepping, Trent Taylor, uh, Vellis Jones. I, I got to be honest, I don't know who that is. So, But the Bears got some big names out, and we will take it. Uh, questionable, um, Lucas Packers, Patrick, their backup center, former Green Bay Packer. Yuck. Uh, so there you have it. Vikings looking pretty damn good. Bears got some uh, got some boys on the list. So we will see what happens on Sunday. But that is the final injury report.